I think we all have like our phobias as kids, right? <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> and um, depending on your environment, you know, there's something, something in your environment, you're gonna find a reason to be afraid of it for some reason or whatever. It gets in your head. It gets in your head and it doesn't leave you. So mine, as a kid growing up in Portland, was one of one of many was the bridges. vision, very vivid vision of being caught on the drawbridge, you know, the, the, the leaves or whatever, as they're going up. The, the guy, the dude in the, in the tower doesn't see us for some reason, or he's just some evil <laughs> guy, so he, he, he doesn't care, so either we slide, start sliding down, or falling off. And then um, when we went over bridges in cars, I would crawl down into the where, where your feet go and crouch down, you know, so I couldn't see the bridge. I couldn't see how far we would be dropping in a few seconds. <laughs> so I was quite depressed, and I thought about jumping off the Fremont Bridge. I chose the Fremont Bridge because it was the highest one in Portland. And there were several times when I drove across it ready to stop and I picked up a spot. Um, not, of course, not next to the sign that says suicide counseling, but about three feet west of that. I spoke to several people about how depressed I was and they knew I was just feeling suicidal and um, one of them told me that he heard that people who had survived the Golden Gate Bridge jump regretted the minute they let go and that hitting the water was like hitting like concrete so I, I didn't want to die painfully and I go to that same spot and I just just really appreciate being alive Thinking about the bridges in Portland always makes me think about a time like being a lot younger than I am now and how Portland seemed so big and made me so interested in like figuring out like what a city was all about and living in a city and I mean I don't mean that to be negative, I just mean that when I think about it I think like about it as being nostalgic for a time like youth and just hanging out with friends like writing graffiti and drinking 40s and just, you know, just, I don't know, it just felt so like urban and gritty and riding skateboards around the Pearl. So it's just, I don't know, something about Portland and the bridges and I mean sometimes I can still have some of the same feelings but a lot of the times it's just like this nostalgic looking back. I don't know, they, they held more for me before.